And we're back again with another quick tip. Today, we're talking about how to customize the drum pads on the Oxygen Pro line. So the Oxygen Pro 25, 49, 61, all come with great drum pads on them. And if you're wondering how to get these drum pads on a different MIDI channel than your keys, so that you can have maybe an electric piano on the keys and drums on the drum pads and play those at the same time, We'll talk about that in today's video as well as how to change and customize each pad with different colors, MIDI notes, and even MIDI channels and some other cool stuff. So we're going to talk about that in today's video. Let's jump over to the studio desk, check out my Oxygen Pro 25, and walk through a couple of things over there. All right, so over here on the Oxygen Pro 25, we've got our 16 pads here. Lovely pads, nice and thick. They've got a great feel to them. And we can easily customize these pads by going over to our DAW preset button here. And you'll notice that below it, it says edit. So what we wanna do first is make sure we're on the DAW preset or the preset preset that we wanna edit. And to do that, we're gonna hold down on this button and we're gonna select one of the user presets at the end here. Let's grab user preset nine. And then we can hold shift and tap on that DAW preset button. That's gonna bring us to the edit mode and we can choose whether we wanna edit the preset or the DAW. So we're gonna say preset by just tapping down on the encoder. And that brings us over to our edit menu, which is gonna display the edit parameters for any control that we tweak here. So if we turn knob one, we get the edit for knob one. So same with pad one, we get the edit with pad one. Now let's talk about colors here for a second. There's two colors that are presented with the pads. If we go out of our edit mode, there's one that you can see here without touching the pad. And then when we tap on a pad, the color switches to a second color. So we have two colors we can set here. Let's go back into edit mode, shift on the preset button, tap down, and then tap on the pad that we wanna edit. So here we've got a few different settings here, or parameters that we can edit on the Oxygen Pro for this pad. Now these will change depending on the control that you're trying to edit. But what we can do here is we can set, number one, the MIDI channel of this particular pad. So let's say that we wanted to have drums on the pads and a different sound, maybe an electric piano or a synth sound on the keys. We could do that by setting the MIDI channel of the pads to a different MIDI channel than the one on the keys. So let's say the keys are just gonna go off the global channel, which is by default channel one. And then our drum pads, we're gonna put on channel 10, which is usually the default for drums and stuff like that. So then in our virtual instrument, and our DAW, we could set up two tracks, one with an electric piano, one with the drums. We could set the incoming MIDI message filter on the track for the drums to channel 10 and the one on the electric piano to one. Now, what that will do is allow us to play the drums and the electric piano at the same time because we're routing the messages from the keys and from the pads to two separate channels in our DAW, which allows us to then have two separate sounds assigned to those channels. Pretty cool stuff, but if we want to change the colors, we can go and scroll with our little encoder here, and you'll see that color one can tap down to change that color. So let's say we wanna change pad one's initial color to violet, tap down to save it, scroll to the right and color two. Let's change that to, let's go, you could turn it off, but we're gonna to go to rose, tap down. So now it's violet until I tap it, and then it's rose colored once I tap it. Let's go back into the edit menu and look at this last option here, which is called mode. So mode allows us to pick what we want this pad itself to trigger. Do we want it to trigger a note or a CC message? So we could set up the, let's say our DAW CC message for play stop is CC message 32. So we could set up this pad to essentially do the same thing that this play button is doing with a CC note or a CC message. Now we could also set it up to program. So if we tap down on this, we have note, CC, CC cycle, CC INDC program, program cycle, um, zone. So we can actually modify a lot of the settings around this pad and we could have it trigger, let's say a program. So we go into program, tap down, and then we pick 
the program that we want this to trigger, whether it's a program on an external keyboard we're controlling or in our DAW in the virtual instrument. Check out your owner's manuals of what you're controlling to see what the different program numbers are and if you need to send any bank changes or anything like that. But what we can do is we can set all of that without even going into the computer, into a preset editor, all of that is available just from this little screen. So it's a great way to kind of go in and customize. I'm gonna change this to note, and then the second screen, once you select the mode, gives you the ability to choose some settings, like what note do I want it to trigger? Let's change that. Do I want it to latch? So with latch, if you press the note, normally when you stop pressing the pad, the sound stops. With latch, it'll hold that sound until you turn latch off or play another note. And so this can be really nice if you wanna set up maybe a droning sound that you just tap and it holds while you play some other stuff. And that's a really cool little feature right there. One last thing here I wanted to talk about is note repeat. So if I go back and we hold on note repeat, we can change the actual timing or time signature of the note repeat. So note repeat, if we just play a note, nothing happens. Hold on no repeat. So that's how you hear in some electronic music and stuff, they get that really quick synchronized playing. And you're able to use that note repeat while you're playing to kind of give you that synchronized note repeat. So once again, to get to that edit menu, hold shift, tap on the DAW preset button, select whether you wanna edit the DAW mode or the preset mode by tapping down, and then tap on the pad you wanna edit, and you're off to the races. So there you go, really easy to customize the controls, whether you're in one of your presets or in DAW mode. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If you've got any questions, throw those down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any future videos like this video. If you found it helpful, stay inspired, and keep making that music.